Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new episode of When You're Delusional, You're Gonna Be on TikTok. I do hope you're gonna enjoy the video, so let's just get into it. Do you think you can get any guy's number out here? Any guy. Any, any guy. guy. You wanna test that out? Hey, test me out. Alright. I told Shawty, you think you can get any guy out here? And she said, yeah. So, what's up? You say I can get your number? Uh, huh? Are you sure? I'm asking you for your number. Not your Snapchat. Not your Instagram. Yeah. Unless you bring, unless you right out here. Then that's different. I'm good. I'm good. I don't bring you in for the reason. I'm I'm good. Good. He said no. He hey. said no. Hey, yeah. Hey. And now easy out here. We're not easy out here. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's gotta be a cold shower right there. Can I get your number? He said no. I'm asking you for your number. He heard you the first time. He still said no. Social media gave you the wrong idea. Now you got your wake up call. Club by himself because he chose to be because he said he didn't want to leave he wasn't ready to leave and I was like well, why'd you stay there I wanted someone to talk to you don't talk to anybody anywhere there's literal hundreds of casinos up and down the strip full of elderly people who would love to have a conversation with anyone because their kids don't talk to them anymore full of them you can have that so he said he wanted to talk. He wanted to stay there and talk. Um, so then he said that um, once he was alone, he got approached. He got led back to a VIP area. And then that's where he claims he was drugged. And then he claims he doesn't remember anything. He says he lost five hours in the strip club, ladies and gentlemen. Five hours. But then he came to and was just fine and was able to leave. Hi everyone, um, I want to start by saying thank you for all of the love and support and the feminine rage. <sighs> I'm angry and you're angry for me and I get it because I'm, I'm, I'm in this too, but please, please, my life has been torn upside down. We are a one income household. I'm a stay at home mom. Please don't threaten and please don't try to call my husband's place of work. You're just going to You're just going to get me work. This is my life. And I never in a million years would have thought This is what happens when you don't know the difference between your private life and your public life. You didn't have any public life and you decided to get some attention and make your private life public. And now you're facing the consequences. And everyone who decided to call your husband at work and try to get him fired, they should mind their own business. And I bet you their life is not so much better. And maybe you should try to consider why your husband was at one of those clubs to try to find someone he can talk to. Why exactly he can't find that someone in you? He can't talk to you. He can't go to terror because that will show up on his bill, on his bank statement and the amount of men who choose to go to these working girls just so they can talk to someone is unbelievable. And I don't know what happened at that club and I'm not even trying to defend his behavior but instead of the two of you talking and fixing your own problems you decided to make it public. But I'm saying I, I can't go home to a cuss what, what we married for? What we married for? I'm not your so mama. I just pulled a 13 hour shift. I just knew I was gonna come home and have, have some food on the goddamn stove. Mm. And that be playing, man. You been doing it for like two or three months, man. What is it? You don't pay no goddamn bill. I pay the car notes, the house notes, family trips, I'll pay for the Man, you know what? Ride and protect, ride and protect. That's what you're supposed to do. Why? I can't get no food in the house then. Huh? 
Sir, you need to get yourself out of that situation. I know it's not easy. A lot of men see divorce as their own failure. A lot of men are afraid of what's gonna happen in the divorce, but whatever happens in the divorce, it's not gonna be worse than what you're going through in that marriage. She's a stay-at-home wife. You're pulling 13-hour shifts, and all she has for you when you come home is leftover pizza and that attitude. You need to leave. As bad as that divorce might get, you're gonna pull through. You're gonna come out of it stronger, and you're gonna make a better life for yourself. Are you loyal? Yeah, of course. 100%. Alright, so can I have you guys swap phones and check each other's messages for the video? Is that okay? No, mine's at home. I thought I saw, saw you with her earlier. No, mine's at home. Earlier, we saw it with. No, Is what are you. Bag? No, mine's at home. It's not in your bag. Can, can we check your bag if it's. No, it's it's at home. It's at home. But can we no, just check it to make sure? No, why are you. Can we just it's check it? Home. Can we just check it to make sure? It's at home. Are you sure? <laughs> it's at home. <laughs> it's literally. It doesn't look like it's at home. You have your phone. You have no, your, I, I, then I must have not realized. I, I meant to leave it at home. So I'm not, it has magically appeared in the bag? I don't know. I, I swear I left it at home. All Unless right. you put it in my bag, I left it at home. What? Hey, you're acting kind of suspicious. Can we go through your no, phone right now? No, that's weird. Not on camera. Hey, bro, go, go through our phone. Check her recent messages right now, bro. That's kind of suspicious. All right, so who? who okay, Dad, Diva, uh, Cole. So, uh, you know, who's that? Oh, Reese. That's your best friend. Is that a guy or is that a girl? No, that's a girl. Really that's a girl? Like, it, mm. Why are you checking that? What, what does it say? He's actually really good, but I'm about to be with Teddy, and I don't want him to find out, so I'll call you back later. I never said that. What do you mean? What? I never said that. It says it right here. That's your best friend. I, someone must have taken my phone. I never said that. Uh, what? What do you mean he's actually really he's good? He's actually really good. What does that mean? No, no, I don't know. I didn't say that. What, what does that mean, though? No, I, I really didn't say that. So who said Santa Claus? <laughs> I don't know, but hey, that wasn't hey, me. That's seeming kind of suspicious someone, right now. Someone must have taken my phone, dude. We've been uh, together six months, and you don't want me to find out? Hey, give her a phone back. Look, no. I want you to call her right now and ask her what these messages mean. No. And no, I mean you already. I already told you that I didn't send this, so there'd be no point to call her. Look, look just call her right now and, and ask what those messages mean. Put on speakerphone. No, that's like. Just, just, just do it. Just do it. Um. So I don't know who sent that message, but like, do you know what that means? Like, I didn't send it. Wait, what's that? So the last night? What do you mean? What? Last night you told me you were like hooking up with that guy. What was no. Name again? No. You said you were like getting with him for like a few weeks now and you were like no, excited what? to see him spring break. Give him your phone. No. Give him your phone. Let him know you're listening. Reese, I'm listening. This is Teddy. Hey. What is this for? You know what's going on? Uh, I think she's hung up. Hung up. She hung up. No, I, I really didn't say that. I would never do that. What do you have to say for yourself? No, that wasn't me. Like, really. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know. Maybe it's like a joke or something. A, a joke? Thing. The message was blue, which indicated that you sent no, that. No, but someone must have taken my phone. We're done. We're done. Oh my god, someone else will use my phone. That's the worst lie I ever heard. You need to come up with something better than that. And if you're that guy, the only word you're gonna say to her is gonna be bye. She obviously wants the other guy and she's only staying with you because you provide her with the type of relationship she wants while in return the other guy won't. She's gonna use yelling, she's gonna use crying and she's gonna use bedroom time to try to convince you to stay and you don't need to fall for any of that. But if you do, everything is on you. Don't act surprised the next time she's gonna cheat on you. Anyway, let me know what you guys I think this is gonna be the end of the video i do hope you enjoyed it thank you all so much for watching stay safe and i will see you in the next one